good YouTube, it's your boy Playboy KD man. You already know I'm back with another fire video. You know what I'm saying? You know I had to come at y'all with these 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 bangers, you know what I'm saying? But in this this video, man, we we'll talking to y'all about my 2K20 build now. But before I get into that, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe too. Grab your boo, get you some popcorn, and hit the stew. You know what I'm saying? So you never miss another lit video. And make sure you turn on post notifications. You heard me straight like that. But anyway, 2K20 is right around the corner. September, the full game will be here. But the demo is coming to us August 21st. Now, Everybody's been going crazy about the old oh, the WNBA players, the 95 overall females, higher than Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is a 94 overall. But what main 2K players are concerned about is my career. Now, me, I'm really not concerned about my career. It's 2K20. I'm, you know, I'm saying I'm gonna play it unless it's like 2K19. Because if it's like 2K19, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw that, throw the whole PS4 away. Simply, you know what I'm saying, straight like that. But anyway. My player builder is what they're calling the new upgrading archetype system or whatever the 2K developers got going on or whatever sick things are going in, uh, going through Ronnie 2K's mind when he created this shit. So, basically from what I have looked up and researched, we're getting 80 badges, new badges were added, some badges were taken away, Relentless Finisher is gone. Uh, Limitless Range, I think it's still there. Deep Range Dead Eye is gone. They got a new badge called Deep Deep Fade, uh, Deep Fade, something like that. So post scores this year might be worse than what post scores was in 2K19. So my build, you know, what I'm saying 2K19 shot creating post scores, stretch fours, and lockdowns ruled the game. You didn't see a lot of point guards like that anymore. You seen a lot of inside scoring builds that could shoot three. So, what would be the point in making a sharp shooting build if every build on the game could shoot threes if you have boost and you know your jump shot? That 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 makes no sense. I mean, you don't see centers in the NBA shooting threes that have a 23 pointer on the game but they can still make threes on the game you feel me so Dwight Howard for instance is like a rebounding athletic finisher you don't see him shooting threes in the NBA he might sh have shot at least one three every season but he doesn't make six out of six threes a game you feel me straight like that so next year I'm next year my build I'm going with a sense shot creating post scores did rule the game. I am going with a sharp shooting point forward. Yeah, y'all thought I was gonna say I'm making a shot creating post score. You thought I am not joining the post score club, but I am not gonna say that either because in the event that my sharp shooting point forward doesn't perform up to par, I will be making a seven foot shot creating post score. And then that'll be the end of that. But, hey, man. I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Talking about 2K20 with me. Let me know down in the comment section what your 2K20 build will be. And what you think about the new archetype system or the My Player Builder system or whatever they got going on. Let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, make sure you turn on that notification so you never miss another lit video. I got a lot of more. A lot of more. I got a lot more IRL videos coming soon. I got a lot of bangers coming soon. Straight like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Playboy. And I'm out. Straight like that.